District for Answers. The bus driver works for the Centennial School District. She was supposed to drop the boy off at daycare, but instead left him in the bus barn for just about an hour. That's where K2's Erica Nocklin is live tonight. And Erica, that boy is okay? His dad says he doesn't talk much because of the autism, but does seem to be doing just fine. His dad says Keone was found in one of the buses here at the yard in the front seat, still buckled in, and he's angry that this could have had a very different outcome. Are you ready? With one phone call, Caden Hester was hit with a feeling he never expected. Overwhelming shock and coldness came over me like, you know, where's my son at? His son, six-year-old Keone, was missing, and the very people he thought he could trust had lost him. We called the school. The school said he was on the bus. The bus people said that the bus driver turned in her keys and went home for the day. The bus driver picked up Keone at Butler Creek Elementary School as planned, but instead of dropping him off at daycare by 10.15 a.m., she went right by there and back to the bus yard where Keone sat alone for about an hour. Unquestionably today, mistakes were made by a veteran driver with no prior history of this kind of situation. Uh, mistakes that are clear deviations from district policy and procedure. Superintendent Teresa Baldwin admits this driver not only failed to drop off the child, but also failed to check the bus as trained. Keone was riding a bus that typically holds nine students. This time, it only held Keone. His father was trying to get him used to riding the bus, but now says he'll never let his son ride again. We're not comfortable with what has happened and the lack of information or no answers that we've gotten to be comfortable with letting my son get on any of their buses. He was kind of feeling like he didn't get a good explanation. Will he get that explanation? You know, I'll leave that to the internal investigator. We'll decide about that. But honestly, I think that we may never fully know what happened today. We just know that an incident happened, that a driver seemed to have forgotten you know, some of her major responsibilities and that it will be, that will be dealt with as a personnel matter. Was she tested for drugs or alcohol? You know, that's well within the policy, but, and all options will be included. Uh, it's a possibility, but at this point, I don't know for sure. The district is the district is not releasing the bus driver's name right now. They are meeting with her and her union rep tomorrow morning. After that, they'll make a final decision about discipline. For now, that driver is on paid leave, but I can tell you Keone's dad wants to see her let go. Reporting live in Southeast Portland, Erica Nockland, K2 News. Erica, thank you. Now from